Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar and uh, contact lenses with Lens On Demand. I'm going to start this webinar by creating a contact lens order and showing you the criteria necessary to be able to pull this order into a purchase order later, like if you're for ordering later in the day. So first I'm going to go to my patient profile. I'm going to select my patient. Once in the patient profile, I'll go to the Vision RX tab. I'll select the contact lens prescription and order from RX. This brings me to our order screen. And the prescription is already here. Now the two criteria I need to be able to pull this into a purchase order later is I need the source to be order. Now this is a drop down, so if you had these in inventory, you would select that. But to order these, you want your source to be of order. And you need your lab to be um, selected down here. Now for our example, we're using ABB Concise. We will send this order to ABB Concise through Lens On Demand. So these are the two criteria, source of order and lab. Once you have done that, when you go to order at the end of the day or whenever you order your contact lenses, you'll navigate to File, Inventory, Purchase Orders. And now we're in the Purchase Order module. Each transaction will get a Purchase Order ID. So this field will autofill once the Purchase Order has been created. So will the date and the status as well as the location. We will also select the supplier here that will autofill. These buttons here, this is to search a previous purchase order. Maybe you have one on hold. This would be to clear the fields out and add a new purchase order. And then, of course, you can print and delete. Once a purchase order has been created and submitted, you'll also be able to check the status of that purchase order. So the first step to creating a purchase order, we open in the Supplier tab. We're going to select the supplier. In our case, it'll be ABV Concise. And then we'll move to the Items subtab. Now, we're going to come here to the Auto Create button. And we're going to click that. And it's going to ask us for a date range. Now, if you order contacts every day, you can put in today's date through today's date. If you order every other day or every few days, don't be afraid to overlap days. If um, you overlap days, it won't pull any orders in as duplicates. If you've already pulled it into a purchase order over that date range, it will not pull it in again. So don't be afraid to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And it's going to pull everything that from an order that had a source of order and lab is ABB concise. So here we have our item number and the type, the lens name and prescription, the UPC code. Here is our source of order. Here is the quantity that we ordered. This is the order ID number. So we, did, we had just created an order. This is the order ID associated with it. Every patient gets a number, and then the patient name, first and last. Now, if we had um, selected to shift to the patient, it's also going to display here. So if you need to ship lenses to a patient, you can certainly do that uh, using this interface or using purchase orders. Once we have created the purchase order and sent it to Lens On Demand, Anytime we want to check on a specific item on this purchase order, we can come right to this logo in the same line with the order and we'll get a status update on it. And you also have this option as well. 
So now everything in this purchase order has come from a source of order. Let's say that you need to order some trials for the office in addition to this. You can do that manually. If you have a barcode scanner, you'll just put your cursor in the UPC field and you would scan that barcode. If you don't have a barcode scanner, you'll go to the contact lens button and you can either enter your prescription or you can filter by manufacturer. You'll select your lenses and your power. Now when I scroll down here to the bottom, you see the difference. The source of the order is user, and that means someone in the office ordered it. It's going to default the quantity to one, but I can upgrade that. I can change that quantity right here. So there's one other way that you can um, enter items. Let's say that you auto-created this and a patient comes in or a patient calls on the phone and they want to order some contact lenses. So you decide to put this on hold until you take that order for the patient and you want to add it to this order before you send it. Save or edit will put this purchase order on hold. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now I have a status of hold. My purchase order number is 147. The date, location, and ABB concise autofills. Now this has not created the purchase order yet. Once you create the purchase order, you cannot add any more to it. So right now this purchase order is on hold. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll take care of this patient. And let's go ahead and select our patient. And he wants to reorder contact lenses, same as he had last time. You can just highlight that order and click reorder. The identical order will come up with current dates and pricing. Our sources of order. Our lab is ABB concise. If I needed to adjust the quantity, I could do that. I would select my promise date. I would go ahead and put a status in here. Um, now, let, let me say one more thing about Lens On Demand. You can send orders individually to Lens On Demand by clicking that Send to Lab button right there. So if you wanted to send them one at a time, you could do that. I would just be aware of your shipping costs because they'll still apply. Uh, you also have the ability to um, have orders held if you want to send them individually. At the Lens on Demand website, you can have them sit in a queue until a specific time of day and then you could send them individually. But it would send orders every day. And if you want to know more about that, we can cover that in a future webinar. So just let me know. And by the way, I will take questions, and I'll be checking them here in a moment. So feel free to ask any questions that you might need. Now that ship to information, this is where you create that. So when you click ship to, you have the ability to pull from the patient profile their primary address, their billing address, or their shipping address. Custom address would be maybe the patient's on vacation, and you're going to ship them. So we can pull in the address. Here we would want to check our shipping method. And go ahead and close. And as you saw, this will transfer to the uh, purchase order. Then we would go ahead and take payment. I'm just going to go ahead and save this for our purposes. And we're going to go ahead and go back to our purchase order. Oh, hold on. I forgot to write that order number down. Bear with me one moment. So I'm going to go back to the history tab for that purchase order. I mean, for that order number, which is 2298, found right here. 
So I'll go ahead and close that. I'm going to go back to File, Inventory, Purchase Orders. I'm going to come up here to Search because I need to find my purchase order that's on hold. Now down here is always going to display your open and your partial purchase orders. And I want to show you what one of those looks like before we finish creating. So if I highlight the partial and I select it, and if I go to the items tab, it will show me what I ordered. What's highlighted in green is what I have received. And what is not is what I'm still waiting for. Now we have all the patient information and order numbers here. But we also have, have them here. We can, if we want, sorry, here, adjust the status. So if you, if you um, were um, inspecting these, you could update the status to inspect it from here. Um, this detail, this receive tab will give you a little more detail. All right, so let's go ahead and actually, let me see if you have any questions before I move on. Okay, we're in good shape. All right. So what we want to do is we want to search our purchase order with a hold status. And we can search by any of this criteria, our purchase order number. So I could have pulled up 147. I could put in 147 and pull it up. I could pull it up by date here. Uh, I could pull it up by supplier. If I want to see how many purchase orders for ABB. We're going to go ahead and use our status of hold and then go ahead and search. And if I look down here, there's the purchase order we just created, 147. I'm going to highlight that and select it. Now when I go back to the item sub tab, I can see the purchase order we just created. There's our trial lenses we also ordered. Now remember that patient interrupted us, but we want to add their items to this order. So all I have to do to add to a purchase order is come to this field and enter that order number, which was 2298. And I'm going to click Add Order. Now when I do that, if I scroll down to the bottom, I will see that, these lenses. So it's really that simple. Now, if I'm ready to create my purchase order, I'm going to come here and I'm going to click Create Purchase Order. And here is my purchase order. So your office information will be here. Your information for ABB will be here. If any notes were added, they would display here. And then if I scroll through, I can see all of my items with the UPC codes there. Now, at this point, it has been created. If you want to print and keep a copy of it, you certainly can do that. The only thing left to do is place this order. And to place this order, you'll just come here to the LOD button, Lens on Demand. And you'll click this button. If the file was successfully received, you will get a pop-up letting you know that it was successful. If it was unsuccessful, you will also get a pop-up letting you know that that transmission failed. That's how simple ordering contact lenses are in My Vision Express. Like I said, later, after the purchase order is created, if you need to check the status of these items, you just come here and click on this logo, and you will get an immediate pop-up with the status or the status of the entire purchase order here. Now I want to show you how easy it is to receive items when you use purchase orders in My Vision Express. So if we come here, let's say we're, we're expecting those lenses to come in. If we go to File, Inventory, Transactions, Receiving. All right, we're in the receiving module. The location is going to autofill. 
If you have an invoice date, you can enter that here. If you have an invoice number, you can enter that here. Each transaction will get an ID. You'll want to select the supplier that you're receiving from. The employee is going to autofill, and so is the date. You can add shipping charges if you wish. Now, this is how simple it is to receive with the purchase order. You'll just come right here to select PO. Let me backtrack one second. If you have a barcode scanner, you don't even have to pull up the purchase order. Just put your cursor in the UPC field and scan those barcodes. And it will receive the items to the purchase order automatically. And it will reconcile or close any purchase orders that are fulfilled. And it does fulfill the oldest items first. For those of us who don't have barcode scanners, we're going to come here to select purchase order. Now we can search by any of this criteria. Our open and partial purchase orders are going to display here. So again, by purchase order number, date, status, supplier, or location. We're going to receive this purchase order, number 147. So I'm going to highlight that and select it. When I do that, it's going to, all my items come into the screen, and it's going to show us what our on-hand counts are what, and what we ordered. We're going to uh, note in this column what we have received. So we'll just go through and enter the amounts that we have received. And if any were canceled, you'll note the amount here. If they were missed, you'll note that and the reason here. If they were back ordered or direct shipped, here's your cancel reason column. And then you also have a notes column here. So once you've entered all that information, you'll want to click update on hand. And it's going to add those items to your inventory. Anything that was ordered for a patient, it will also remove it from your inventory for that patient. So we'll go ahead and click update on hand. And then we can close. Now let's take a look at that purchase order now that we've received those items. Actually, let me check and see if there are any questions yet. And let's see here. We do have one. Uh, does the PO calculate total costs? This way we would know if it meets free shipping requirements. Unfortunately, it does not calculate the cost, although I think that's a great enhancement idea. Um, I get that question a lot. Um, and um, I think uh, I'm going to suggest it. Um, can you just scan the UPC instead? Absolutely, you can. Um, and if I didn't eventually show that, please let me know. Because um, I think I said it probably right while you were typing this message. So, Kara, if you want me to go over that again, I most certainly will. All right, so let's go back here. We're going to go File, Inventory, Purchase Orders, and we're going to click Search. Now, our purchase order, because it's not a hold status, it updated automatically to Partial. When I select it, I'm going to go to the Items sub-tab. And anything that highlights in green is going to let me know that I've received it. Anything not highlighted, I'm still waiting for. I, again, can go to my order sub-tab and I can update the status. You could always add status received here. Anywhere you have this add a new value in the system, you're able to add items to that drop-down list on the fly without having to go into file set of categories. So here are all the order statuses that uh, we have in here. If I wanted to add another one, I would just click here. 
add the item. Oops. And as long as it's active, it becomes a permanent part of this list. And now I can update that to received if I'd like. Okay? I hope that kind of simplified purchase orders and receiving. As you can see, it makes a very small, t uh, light work for that task. I'm going to again check for some questions. Um, here again, let me know if I didn't answer that question and I'll go over it again if you'd like. Um, that's really the whole, the whole ball of wax there. So, um, I can go over it again. I'm going to leave it open for a few moments to let me know if you'd like to go over it again or if you have any further questions. Yes, Kara, I definitely, thank you for answering me. I definitely will suggest it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a common question. Again, let me know if anyone has any questions or if you want me to duplicate anything that we just did, create an order, receive contact lenses, pull up a previous purchase order. Remembering that we can order through Lens On Demand. Uh, what about ABB scanner we use for trial lenses? You should be able to just scan the UPC field. You should be able to use the same scanner. Oh, it's specific to ABB. You know, let me check into that for you, Kara. I'd be happy to find out. I have a feeling that you're going to have to use our UPCs or the UPCs that are in Lens On Demand. But if those UPCs match what ABB has in their catalog, you should be okay. But I will double check that for you. Can you give me your email address or account number? And I'll follow up with you after this webinar. Excellent. Thank you, Kara. Okay, anyone else? I know this is a kind of a short webinar, but that will show you how quickly you can order contact lenses. Makes very short work of this task. All right, I'm going to leave this open for a few minutes here just to make sure there aren't any more questions, and I will email Kara as soon as I get an answer for her about the ABB scanner. Well, all right, I'm going to close the webinar, and I thank you all for attending. Remember that you can, uh, if anyone wants a copy of this webinar, it was recorded today, so please let me know. Um, have a wonderful day.